Both Norcross Elementary School counselors feel that leadership skills are essential to a successful comprehensive school counseling program. We both take our leadership roles in the school and county very seriously. Around our school, we both serve on the leadership team that helps guide our school's expectations and annual goals, provided with current knowledge to help those around our school and community to the best of our ability. We are also co-PBIS coaches at our school. We make sure to communicate with our team regularly to build a positive learning environment for our faculty and students. Being a leader of PBIS has really been a great addition to our counseling duties because it gives, a, gives us the opportunity to share counseling strategies and create incentive programs that have proven to increase positive behavior throughout our school. These positive behaviors help drive students to be successful academically and socially. We feel that true leadership is about taking responsibility and helping others. We both serve on the Gwinnett County Steering Committee, a committee that meets and decides what the hot topics of elementary school counseling are. Although we try to be involved and take part in committees and teams, we feel that true leadership comes from the role we play day to day with our students. We are committed to working for the good of all students at times and doing all we can to make an impact on a day-to-day -day basis. So at the beginning of the 2018-2019 school year, we sat down with our administration team and discussed our behavior data in depth. During our 2017-2018 school year, we realized that our African American male population was receiving the majority of our behavior referrals. We decided that one of our initiatives would be to decrease this number, would be to set our counseling behavior goal based upon this data. By May 17, 2019, the number of major discipline referrals, which was 141 from African American males in the 2017-18 school year, will decrease by 10% from the 2018-19 school year. We chose not only to work with these students directly, but to advocate for them. We gathered research on child adversity and trauma and gathered information on these students based on their own stories and gather information about the reasons why these students may struggle with behavior. We shared this information with our stakeholders in order to advocate for these students and advocate for solutions to help them based on scientific research we did on the impact of mindfulness, school support, and mentors. By May 17, 2019, our target group decreased referrals by 41%. We attribute this success and systemic change to advocating for interventions for these students and those that took the time to dive into our suggestions and do their own research to gain better insight and understanding to who these students really are. By decreasing the referrals of these students, not only did the learning environment become safer, and more effective for them, but for those around them. Which engaged buy-in by these staff members, which were apprehensive prior to this data being shared. We believe that collaboration is key to a healthy, comprehensive school counseling program. We know that we are very lucky to have healthy working relationships with one another, our staff, administration, community members, and the county office. Throughout the creation of our program, there have been many times where we have had to take a few minutes to sit down and come up with new ideas to help improve student performance. One of my favorite projects that we did in the 2018-19 school year was our school-wide monthly classroom attendance contest. Our attendance goal was by May 17, 2019, students with seven or more unexcused absences in the 17-18 school year will decrease their unexcused absences by 20% from 106 students to 85 students from the 2017-18 school year to the 2018-19 school year. We were already meeting with our attendance high flyers regularly and they took place in an individualized incentive program where they could earn rewards every 10 days they were at school. We decided to begin the school-wide monthly classroom attendance contest in August 2018 with hopes that students would want to attend school if their classroom could win a reward if they had the highest attendance in the school for that month. We posted a scoreboard in the cafeteria and updated it each morning. The class who had the most days with perfect attendance would receive an ice cream party. We did end up reaching our attendance goal for the 2018-19 school year. We give credit to our, of our success to the hard work and collaboration of our school social worker, our administration team, teachers, parents, and our interventions coordinator in helping us during our student attendance review committee meeting, or SARC meetings. We also think that our data talks and daily incentive program with our targeted group help as well as our school-wide attendance program. Attendance is just one of the many ways that collaboration has led to the systemic changes affecting our student attendance and achievement throughout the school year.